I got a patron request from Micah to review the Netflix movie A Week Away. This is a musical set in a summer camp that also happens to be a Christian movie. I admit I've not delved that much into Christian films, so when I wind up watching one of them, I don't really come at it with many preconceptions, and I still judge them how I would any film by looking at how I feel about the story, the characters, the production elements, etc. So how do I feel about A Week Away? To be honest, it did not really do it for me. It's definitely trying to be a cheerful, feel-good teenage musical in the vein of something like High School Musical or Lemonade Mouth. However, I just found the film could not overcome how silly everything was. The main character is meant to be a teenager with a criminal background, who ends up sent to the summer camp by his new foster family, and there's a problem right off the bat, because I did not buy him as a teenager. He clearly looks like he's in his 20s, and the actor was indeed 22 when he filmed a week away. All the characters fit into specific archetypes, with not much personality beyond that. Ne'er-do-well boy, girl he likes, nerdy boy, nerdy girl he likes, and the bully. Regarding the Christian elements, they do make the occasional references to God, the Bible, Jesus, and other things, while part of the lead protagonist Will's arc involves believing in God again. However, these characters are not defined by their faith for the entire runtime, and they do talk about and have interest in other things. The religious elements are there because the film is primarily aimed at Christians, who like seeing their faith represented in the characters. And that's fine. I just didn't find any of the characters to be fleshed out or interesting enough. Most of the story involves them participating in these competitions in the camp, while it occasionally develops the main love story between Will and a girl named Avery. I did not really buy the connection between the two, although the actors do try and sell it as best they can. In fact, something I will compliment the movie on is Bailey Madison's performance as Avery. She actually does a good job, mainly because she appears to know exactly the kind of film she's in and the material she's given. There are points where a musical number starts or someone says something really corny, and she has the appropriate response or facial expression. Regarding the musical numbers, none of them really stood out to me. The choreography leaves a lot to be desired, and they don't do anything that creative with the camp setting and mounting these production numbers. I feel this movie really needed someone like a Kenny Ortega to give the dance moves that extra kick. Proving my lack of knowledge of Christian music, I thought the soundtrack consisted of original songs. Then I found out A Week Away is actually a jukebox musical with pre-existing songs. It primarily uses songs from singers like Amy Grant and Stephen Curtis Thompson. Names I have no real familiarity with, but for fans of Christian music, it must be a thrill to hear their songs performed by these youngsters in this musical, and they even make cameos in the film. For me personally, the songs did not leave much of an impression, but as is obvious, this is not the type of music I'd listen to anyway. These tunes clearly resonate with people, though, if they're being used in a jukebox musical decades later. Something that stood out to me in a weak way is that it does a slight twist on the lie revealed plot device, and I thought it was kind of interesting. If a certain character acted differently, it would have felt out of character for them. The conflict that does arise ends up resolving really quickly, but I understand the purpose was to give Will that last extra push. In the end, I found A Week Away to be a largely underwhelming musical and teen summer flick. There wasn't much in the story or the characters that kept me engaged, I did not find the attempts at humor particularly funny, and the overall execution did not gel with me. I won't deny everyone involved probably had a fun time making the movie, something we even see during the end credits blooper reel. It's a film very specifically aimed at religious Christians who like listening to music aimed at their faith. I am not part of that demographic, but if it does speak to someone or they're able to relate it to their own Christian summer camp experience, that's perfectly fine. Anyway, have you watched A Week Away on Netflix? Let me know in the comments, and thank you for your request, Micah.